Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Toronto Blue Jays. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And the starter for Toronto, Chris Bassett. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Jose Caballero. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position, are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? One out, base is empty. Fouls it off, still one and two. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Had him way out front of the slur. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Lau at the plate. And he beats it. He's safe. With two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. So two down. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Randy or Rosarena. Two outs. And that one fouled off. Goes down looking. The Rays strand just the one. Now the Blue Jays will get their chance. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Rogers Center and on the hill in this one, Zach Eflin. Well, but maybe a little pedestrian there in terms of the ERA, but with those numbers, you expect to be in a ball game and have an opportunity to win. And really, that's all his teammates can ask for. So we'll see if he's able to be consistent in this one. Bottom of the first. And now for the Jays, George Springer. And the right hater deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Swings and misses, struck him out. Now the number two hitter, Spencer Horowitz. That one pushed to the left and foul. And here it comes. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. One down, base is empty. On the ground, right side, Paredes. Steps on first for the out. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. 
They're facing a guy today who is a strike thrower. Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so they're going to have to work hard to generate base runners. And when you've got a strike thrower like this guy on the mound, you can't be overly patient as a hitter because the umpire is generally going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So you got to go up there, understand what's in his repertoire, be aggressive in what you can handle, and you get three. Ah, oh, that ends the inning, so we take a break. One, two, three, go to Blue Jays. Scoreless after one. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Josh Lowe. Josh Lowe. The line to kick the pitch. Now fly ball to right center. He's got it. One down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And now it's Jose Siri. Second inning here, no score. Next offering in there for a strike. One and two. Oh, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. You talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Two outs, bases empty. Ben Workvet next to hit for the Rays. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Stepping in, Jose Caballero. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. Throw into third, and he's got a double. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. So up next, Taylor Walls. Next oh. offering in there for a strike. And the count is even, two and two. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. So the Rays strand a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now here's the veteran DH, Justin Turner. Righty delivers. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. Stays alive. Foul ball still one and two count. Kicks Indians. Swing and a miss struck him out. Way out in front of that inside pitch there, and just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two-strike approach. Bobichette up to the dish. One down, base is empty. Come back her to the mound. Slings to first. And Bichette is retired. Batting fifth. No left fielder. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Varsho. Two out spaces empty. Bye. Next offering is downstairs. Two and one.
I chopper to third. Whips it to first. And the Blue Jays go down one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. And stepping in for the Rays, Richie Palacios. Next offering is down low. Hard hit to third. Fires over to first. One off one down. Isaac Paredes now. One down, base is empty. And that one lifted in the air, center field. That's out number two. And now it's Brandon Lau. Wow. Foul ball there. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing for Tampa. And we are still scoreless. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the Toronto catcher, Alejandro Kirk. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Slings it across. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Ernie Clement next up for the Blue Jays. fall for a base hit so a man aboard now with one away well those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile kind of just punks it out there the other way didn't hit real hard but he got just enough of it to dunk it behind the infield and I tell you what you'll take those every day you can get them one down here's Kiermaier now the one one and there's a foul ball. The pitch. Two balls, two strikes. This one in the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Now all leave it up. On the ground, could be two. Over to Lau. And that's two. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Three innings complete, no score. Back now in Toronto. New inning getting started. Now the left fielder, Randy Rosarena. And a swing and a miss. On the ground, right side. And it goes just foul. Here's a one-two. Battling here as he fouls it away. The one-two. Now it's belted, deep to left, way out of here, home run. Randy Rosarena hits one out. 
his 13th home run of the season, and the Rays take the lead. It's 1 0. Randy Rosarena could probably run the bases blindfolded with the amount of home runs he hits. So many times a sinker inside is a foul ball off the ankle for the batter. But that time he did a really nice job of staying inside the pitch and getting through it. Now up for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe. Base knock center field. Everything came together for him. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now here is Jose Siri. account this is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much you got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first it's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box runner on the goal line drive throw behind the runner and they got him doubled off And now Ben Workvet. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Next offering is in for a strike. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. The Rays kick off the scoring with a solo bomb. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the inning. Here's George Springer. The right fielder. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer. When you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get. And that one hammered low, hustling after it. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. And next for Toronto, Spencer Horowitz. Left-hand hitter waits. That one missed. Right through there for a strike. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. And Hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. Can't get to it as it drops into the corner. Runner from second crosses the play. It's 1 1. Huge game tying at bat right there. Came through in a big spot to drive in the run. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Now a check swing at the 1-1. Look down to first and no swing, says James Kingsley. Horowitz 
stands at second with no outs. And he boots it. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score. Turner climbs in on that right side. And a pinch. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. And he deals. That's a little bit low. Way to lay off that pitch down. Bobichet waiting to hit for Toronto. And a pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a 3 2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Two on, one out. Bobachek gets a chance to hit. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. And a foul ball, he stays alive. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that's off the inside edge. The count now two and two. At the belt and fires. Got him swinging. Two gone. So first and second with two outs. So up next for Toronto, Dalton Varsho. Outside corner, there's a strike. First and second, two down. Two on, two outs. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. The pitch. Good job to fight that one off. On the ground. And that's just foul. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Strike three, got him swinging. Good job at damage control right there. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. All even now at 1-1. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Ready now for the fifth inning, and stepping in is the speedy Jose Caballero. The pitch. Swings through that one. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. That one in the dirt, two and two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. The two two. Got it by him for the play. 
very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play you don't even have to get a hit at that point you can help your team just by reaching on an error but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Now it's the shortstop, Taylor Walls. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And a count, one and two. Righty to the plate. Fights that one away, still one and two. Here comes a pinch. Bounced up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. He decides to eat it and they don't get the out. And now the DH, Richie Palacios. And the pitch. It with a look to first. No, Walls back in on the dive. Walls, the base runner at first with one out. That one misses. And now three and one. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. Safe at second, and that was not close. To the right side, and that chance handled. Tosses to first, and there are two outs. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. So digging in, Isaac Paredes. Out to short, Bichette. Zips it across, third out. One left for Tampa. Score remains deadlocked at one. Here at Rogers Center, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And now for the Jays, Alejandro Kirk. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Now back, the third base hit. Ernie Clement next up for the Blue Jays. The pitch. Rudder takes off. Cut on and missed. Throw to second. Tag. And they got him. Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put wood on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, it was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. Kicks and fires. Okay. And it skips into dirt. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Goes down looking for the strikeout. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to 
at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly, and that extends the inning. And the batter is George Springer. Two outs. Boots it. And that keeps the inning alive. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So two on with two away. At the play, Spencer Horwitz. Two on, two outs. Checks his swing. Now to appeal to third. No, he held up. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Look at the stop from his knees, the throw, and that's a nice play to end the inning. That was a great job of doing the math. He had the perfect angle, diving stop, completes the play, and that ends the inning. Top six, and now Brandon Lau. Left hand batter waits. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. And a pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down. I got this. Now it's Randy Rosarena. Right-hander kicks deals. That one inside. Three balls and a strike. One down, base is empty. And that's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe. Bassett with a look to first. The Rosarena dives back. Righty delivers. And a pitch out, but no steal, and it's ball two. Almost 100 pitches through five and a third innings. I'm thinking he's probably done in the next couple of batters. The 2 1. The Rosarena on the move. Sliced hard, but foul. With the go ahead run at first, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Now 2 away. Jose Siri next to hit for the Rays. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. The Rosarena on the move. Pitch misses in. Throw to second and great jump. Yeah, I like being aggressive right there with two outs. It's kind of a classic steal situation. You get thrown out, no big deal. That guy at the plate leads off the next inning. Now, a single to the outfield can push a run across. Pitch. Ball. Three and one. Ben Wortvet next to bat for Tampa. A Rosarena at second with two down. Inside ball four. He's so solid. 
calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That's it for Chris Bassett. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. So a lefty out of the pen, Brendan Little. And he's had a struggle so far this year as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. Ben Wortvet next to hit for the Rays. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, to try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Fought off foul. Left hand hitter waits. That one missing inside. Swings and misses, struck him out. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Kevin Kelly. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. Three, four, five do up for the home team. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Got him. And there's one away. Here's Turner now. Justin Turner. And here it comes. That one fouled off. Two and two. Right-handed reliever that That's misses the, the zone and it's three and two okay. the only adjustment he needs to make is his target if you aim at the outside corner that slider's going to end up way off the plate perhaps look a little more down the middle and you get it right where you want it hacks and misses it's a strikeout very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one getting straight to work man it's talked about a lot but relievers are just so electric these days he's doing fun at bats if you're a hitter I'm so glad I'm retired and that's off the inside edge now two balls and a strike Good eye right there. And the righty deals. Foul ball. Three two now. High fly ball out to left field. The Rosarena makes the grab and that's the inning. We go to the top of the seventh. Now the third baseman, Jose Caballero. The wind of the pitch. 
good eye in that spot. Well, these Rays, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Taylor Walls digs in now. The 1 1 is fouled off. All tied up here in the top half of inning number seven. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. 1 and 2 here. Oh, they threw that one behind him. That smash towards center. Kiermaier calls it in, and there's two away. Great swing of the bat right there, trying to get on as that go-ahead run. He just wasn't able to find a hole. So the Rays batting order turns over. Richie Palacios next to hit for the Rays. And now the count is even. On the ground, right side, Horowitz gathers and throws to first. Rays retired in order. Nothing doing for Tampa. Score remains tied 1-1. of the seven. Here's the left fielder, Dalton Varsha. Ball to strike. The pitch. That's towards center. Siri sizes this one up. He's got it. And there's one down. And here is Alejandro Kirk. One down, base is empty. That pitch gets the corner. Now one and two. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. Well, oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location. But clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. So two down now, and here is Ernie Clement. And he deals. Little chopper rolls foul. Fouls it back with two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Nope. Just Off misses it. with that one. It's a good take. Ground ball up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Fastball down and in. Good spot to get a ground ball, but that one had eyes. Runner at first. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. And another ball. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. That's down and in. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. So now That's two four. on and two outs. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves the go-ahead run into scoring position, so some pressure pitches coming up in this next A-B. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate.
The 1 1. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Well, this is a higher leverage spot, and I love the way that he's turned things around. He's got two outs now ahead in this count, and he can pretty much dictate what's going to happen next in terms of the pitch sequence. They get the force, and we stay tied as the inning ends. Blue Jays leave a pair. Still tied, 1-1. One, one. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Trevor Richards. Well, good luck against this guy. He's been extremely tough to hit this year. His numbers are excellent. And stepping in for the Rays, Isaac Paredes. And another ball. Two balls, one straight. And that one fouled off. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Fights it off, you'll see another. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That one carrying. And that gets down in the corner. Around first, digging for two. Springer returns it to the infield, and that holds the go-ahead run at second base. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Go-ahead run on base. Now up for Tampa Bay, Brandon Lau. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count, one and two. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. And we're at the top of the eighth. Swung on, belted. Way back there. Can't get there. Runner around third. The relay to the plate. He will score, and they take the lead. It's two to one. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Next to bat will be the Rays' four-hitter, Randy Arozarena. And right back to the mound. Over to first. They get the out on a Rosarena. The right fielder, number 15. Josh and now the right fielder, Lowe. Josh Lowe. Lau leads off second with one gone in the inning. Wouldn't chase that time. Two and one. Swing and a miss. Okay. And it's second. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. It's a good breaking ball there, just off the corner where you can't really do much damage, but it's close enough to where you've got to protect, and he just couldn't find a way to fight it off. And now the center fielder, Jose Siri. Man on second, two down. And a foul ball. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Rays two and the Blue Jays one.
Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Garrett Clevenger. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team, and there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. And now for the Jays, Spencer Horowitz. Looking to get the tying run on base. That's in there. And that is strike two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Pete Fairbanks warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Pepio also throwing. The wide to kick the pitch. Fouls it off. Still one and two. and deals way outside and that's ball two the pitch a laser to left base hit Zoe gets a hit after a long battle with the pitcher. Well, he really had to battle for that one. Man, that was so fun to watch. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And now the lefty in the air to left center. Siri in position. Balls it in, and there's one away. Now that one, the designated hitter. Now it's Justin Turner. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. That one almost got him. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. At the belt and fires. Three, that two. one misses, and it's a full count. Bobichet in the on-deck circle. In the air, out towards right center. Low, ranging after it. Squeezes it. Now that it should stop. Sean Armstrong taking over on the mound. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And next for Toronto, Bobichet. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Bounce to third. That's a hit! The Rosarena gets it in, and they hold the lead runner at second. Potential tying run now in scoring position. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Making a move at first. Entering is the pinch runner, Stuart Baroa. First and second, two outs. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. Swing and a chopper. Paredes. He'll do it himself. Inning over on the ground out. Took just two pitches to finish the frame out of the bullpen. Blue Jays leave a pair. And our score remains 2-1. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, number 43. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now into the ball game on defense, number 36. He's in at shortstop. Number 36. Well, 
One run game. Here's the catcher, Ben Wortfett. The catcher, Ben Wortfett. The pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball three. Late swing, foul to the left. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. And there's ball four. Close pitch there, but you got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first, and then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And that one is lifted in the air. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. The battle, number six. And now Taylor Walls. And that bunch it towards third. On the run, throw to first. Out on the sack bunt. Boog, that's a good at bat simply because they found a way to move both runners up a base. Now they're in a really good spot with two runners in scoring position. Now here is Richie Palacios. I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone here. Pitchers looking for a strikeout or a ground ball, hoping to keep that runner at third. Two on, one out. Foul ball there. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. One and two now. Lifted in the air right center field. And George makes the grab. Runner tags for home. Throw home. He beats it. And they lead by two. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Isaac Paredes next to hit for the Rays. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. Now the second baseman. Here's the second baseman, Brandon Lau. One, two, gets a piece and stays alive. Here's a one, two, and there's a ball. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the ninth. And down on strikes, inning over, and it could have been worse. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9, two up in inning number nine. Rays three, and the Blue Jays one. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Pete Fairbanks. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Here's the Toronto Leading catcher, up, Alejandro Toronto. Kirk. The catcher. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. Right into the plate. Swing and a miss. Gets to it on the first. In time to get him. One away in the strikeout. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out. You get settled in. You feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump. And kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that 
you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. The Rays trying to close out a two-run lead here in the last half of inning number nine. Here comes a pitch. And another ball. One down, base 